6,520 pounds. This is a Keystone Springdale bunkhouse with big old super slide private rear double over double stacked bunks, which is interesting. They're offset a little bit and a giant rear outside storage garage at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. You know what? This is going to make someone either a great first time family trial bunkhouse camper or um, maybe you're just upgrading to a slide out or something. Now, uh, understand, I'm not worried about cosmetic things on a trailer like this at, at this price tag. It's got some flaking decals. Yep, big deal. You know what it doesn't have? Leaks. You know what it doesn't have? Problems. It's been stored outside. It's got a couple stickers that are cracking up a little bit. Who cares? It's not falling apart and the stuff works so that your family can go camping and have a good time. Oh, I think I forgot to unlock this. Hopefully I, I, oh, I did. Hold on. I've got keys. We can fix this. Uh, on a trailer like this, this age, these dollars, the number one thing to be concerned about is, does it work? And this trailer works well. You've got large front and rear pass through storage compartments. This is a really cool floor plan that actually continues to be produced today. It's a very, very long running floor plan that Springdale makes, the 296. Um, we are a Keystone Springdale dealer. I'm real familiar with this product, the ins and the outs, the guts of it. Um, very respectable product. It's been the number one thing Keystone has built for so many years now, the Springdale family. This garage on this floor plan, I think, is really, really neat. Now, uh, the... Um, these rear garage doors and some of these older campers, uh, they are just no, like you can, you might be able to detect from this video, it has swollen here a little bit. Like if I point right at it, you can see how the door is thicker than the frame. That's because they didn't realize that putting a seam at the very bottom of the door was a bad idea. So water always wicked up in there and into this door. But you can see that it's not like super waterlogged and heavy. The struts are still holding like they're supposed to. And you've got this large rear storage compartment back here for like spare tires and hoses and all your camp stuff. All your camp stuff is good. Awning looks fine. To my knowledge, all the major systems and appliances are in good working order. I haven't personally fired everything up. And before you take a camper home, we'll pull it up to the building and plug it in and let you see stuff before you put pen to paper at our dealership. Doesn't scare us at all. Central air, central heat, big super slide. We got a lot of big family space and comfort going on in here. Lots of windows too for plenty of brightness and I like the classic lighter wood paneling and, and decors and whatnot in here. We'll come back to the kitchen in just a minute. Let's take a quick peek at the bathroom. Simple, but effective. You know, what more do you need in here? Even uh, you, you got a medicine cabinet, you got some drawers, etc. Nothing fancy, nothing flashy, but she gets the job done. But this is really the business, and this is where I want to spend most of the time in this camper, is this private closing door rear bunkhouse. You've got tw uh, dual double-sized bunks. Now that top bed is pushed back further than the, the bottom bed. They're the same size. Optically it doesn't look like that on camera, but they're the same size bed. Remember that back there is that storage garage. This bunk is actually above that storage garage and this one is in front of it. Now that offset nature is pretty cool. If I don't make you seasick, you can see that you can just use the bottom bunk as a step to get to the top bunk. Now back here we have good windows for airflow. The kids have their own little entertainment center and each bed gets its own storage compartment or its own giant closet even. You've got excellent storage space in this bunkhouse and both of them get some pretty hefty size headboards that uh, can both flip up for a little bit of chest storage. That is a very cool thing. Um, in today's market, th this is uh, called a 2960 Summerland instead of a 296 Springdale, but the same basic concepts and layouts and principles exist. That actually just took place recently, change over to the Summerland family. Summerland is another Keystone member. It's basically the the, the simplified series of a Springdale that is built today. Springdales in today's market are very highly equipped within the conventionally constructed camper class. But this is the grandfather. This is the one that got them there. Good kitchen drawer space, little counter extension. Um, I like the stove cover as well because that gives you some extra prep space that this camper sorely needs. So that's a welcome addition. We do also have a sliding privacy door for the bedroom up front. And I'm going to yeah, that is not factory done. That's a nice little thing that somebody added there for a coat rack, but they did a nice job of it. Um, again, simple but effective. That's really the whole message for this entire camper. Simple but effective and, uh, you know, easily half ton towable. So, if that kind of fits the bill for what you're looking for, 
give us a ring. You know, she's not flawless by any stretch, but there's also no major function problems with it. The, the little things that you're looking at here, they're cosmetics. So we take that into account, and we understand that she's not the perfectly prettiest bell at the ball. We buy your business a little bit with an easier price tag because of that kind of stuff. So, if you're looking for a fair deal at a fair place, give us a call. We got hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, everything else in between. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.